Well, hi everybody, it's Scott Kelby here and welcome to Lightroom Tip Tuesday. And today we're looking at why this cool feature in the quick develop module of Lightroom Classic uh, is, um, is perfect for certain situations. And so let me show you what that is. Okay, we have two photos that are both underexposed. This one is uh, like uh, three quarters of a stop underexposed and this one is uh, just a third of a stop, right? It's it's a little dark, but it's 0 0.30. Is they're both underexposed, but but this one's at 0 0.30. So there are different exposures. If in the develop module I clicked on them both and I increased the exposure, it would move both photos to whatever number I choose. So if I were to go up here and get this one looking good, right? Well. Unfortunately, the other photo, which was already kind of brighter, is now real bright. It's overly bright. So what I really want, instead of setting both of them, see, they're both at point plus 105, right? They're both at plus 105. That's not really what I wanted. Let's undo that. Undo, undo, undo. Let's just hit a bunch of undos. What I really wanted is both of them to be up one stop from where they were. So then you would do, select them both, press G to return to the library module. We're going to go to quick develop and watch. When we go up one stop, we hit the exposure up. Well, that's a third of a stop. Let's just go, let's go a full stop. We go a full stop here. What happens is it actually takes whatever their exposure was and move that individual photo's exposure up one stop. So let's go look now and you'll see that this one is up uh, 0.25 and this one is at 0.70 so it moved them relative to each other right it moved relative to what the original exposure for each photo was so that can come in really really handy so you're not setting all the photos to the same number on a slider you're moving each one of them up just one stop from where they were so that's a great reason why the quick develop module and it's the only place in Lightroom that you can really do that is right there so that's kind of a pretty neat thing and thank you for watching this Lightroom Tip Tuesday.